Hello there, I'm Gav. I'm Dan. We're the Slow Mo Guys. It's been a while, Dan, since we've used this ridiculous thing. I forgot we had it, <laughs> but then it's like absolutely ginormous and it's been sat there wanting to be used this whole time. Yeah, it's been about six years. It's basically an air pressure tank, a solenoid valve, and a very long barrel capable of firing things that are about this big and spherical. Yeah, so basically this. <laughs> it's a three quarter inch BB, and this is a three quarter inch barrel, so we thought, perfect, let's try that. Last time we used it to fire more teasers through various objects. Whoa! Ping pong bat was a personal favorite. Oh, oh that's the Whoa. first, that's destroyed it. This time, I thought we could start a Newton's cradle at the highest possible speed we can manage. What I like about this is that essentially these are pretty hard ball bearings and we're going to be firing more or less identical ball bearings straight through it. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. It'll be interesting to see, even though it's an order of magnitude faster in velocity that we're using, will it actually send the final ball or will it just annihilate the whole thing? It's going to be a real experiment, but I think a combination of the two. Well, that's what I'm hoping. That'll be the best slow-mo footage. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Why don't we pressurize this tank and see what happens? Yeah. This is the Phantom TMX 7510, very fast camera that we've used multiple times on this channel. We'll start off at about 82,000 frames a second in 720p. And we're using this Perspex water tank as a blast shield. I think it's the right height if I just move this in. Love it. There he is, ready to go. Ready to go. We used this cannon before with the Maltesers, which were obviously all different sizes and shapes. They were pretty snug, but not, not perfect. But they were good because they were light. Whoa! <laughs> Wait, what? And hard, whereas this is just really hard, but also <laughs> quite heavy. Yeah. So it needs quite a lot of barrel to get going. Filling the tank, okay? Yep. Ready. Three, two, one. Flipping heck. Oh, the whole thing's gone. Yeah, there's no balls attached to it anymore. This one stayed on. <laughs> Which one is that? The second one? Or the They're fourth one? They're all tangled up now. It's impossible to tell. Uh, the second one, actually. No, well, it's the second one. This is actually quite an interesting sort of physics experiment. Yeah, I would be, I'd love to know. I'm so excited to see whether on impact on the first one, does the last one actually go? Or is it all just pushed as a big group? Well, it depends on how hard they are. If they were perfectly hard balls, perfectly hard, and there was no deformation, <laughs> then I'm sure that they would all act like a perfect Newton's cradle. The ball's on its way. Oh, here it comes. Whoa, it's booking it. Oh. It, did. it worked, it worked. <laughs> it's smaller, so there's no... It worked. It's mismatched size, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> look at it. Sent it's sent it with such okay so <laughs> not only is the impacting ball smaller it still had enough force to batter the the front one off yeah it didn't even like get like affected and the the further back the balls are on the newton's cradle the more they get affected by the the nylon string holding yeah. them, and they kind of go up but the way it broke off the front one ping i at least would have thought the strings would have had some effect on it, like it would have snapped on the way up. Oh, it, it snapped as if it wasn't on any string. It had the tiniest effect. If you see it, it like put a slight bit of spin, I think. <laughs> Flip. So I guess the second one is the one that survived, right? Look, yeah. Because it's- It got hit twice. Even though it was closer to the ball that actually impacted it, it oh, forced all of its energy into the next three balls, which went flying, and yeah. the first ball took all of the brunt. So the second ball is the is the safest one, I imagine. Well, I'm not disappointed there. Should we do it with a sm one of the smaller balls? Well, yeah, because that one was just slightly bigger. We yeah. could do slightly smaller. You see this little dent here? Oh, God. You see that? It's flattened. Flattened it. And this one has also been flattened here. See that? Oh, yeah. And you see the original BB is even worse shape. Look at that. That's what we fired. That's what we fired. It's like cracked it. God. <laughs> That's but, solid metal though, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. It must be. Look, it looks like a the Death Star. It does. Doesn't it? We can make so many tiny <laughs> Death Stars. <laughs> is it scary looking down the damn barrel? No, because I know it's not loaded or anything like that. Yeah, here's the uh, safety measures in place for lighting up. There's literally a huge air gap. So even if there was a ball bearing in there, it wouldn't be. If there was a ball bearing or pressure or, yeah, so there's three different things yeah. that is in the way. 82,000 frames a second seems to be plenty for this. You ready? Ready. Three, two, one, fire. Whoa. 
So this one I went really close up. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, it just snapped that first one immediately off. Like, it just didn't even like bother the oh. nylon. It was just like, see ya. <laughs> it's crazy. That it and just... the last one snapped off as well. The middle two. So the one that receives the impact, immediate snap of the holder. And the last one also, like frames apart. <laughs> it's crazy. And there's still no upward swing on like any of them. No. They just go. <laughs> I think it's definitely right to say that the the first ball and the last ball get the most impact. The middle three, it goes the second, third, and then fourth. But like the second is least impacted. Yeah. Ooh. And it almost stops dead the first one. In not in reality, but in incomparable speed in slow-mo. If you look at this, this is where the impact has happened. And then on the other side, slightly less energy, but still. <laughs> That's great. Dented. So I'm assuming that as you go further down the balls, they have little they holes. just get little dinkier holes, starting off with the Death Star. That's, you can tell. smaller. You can definitely tell the ones that were hit with the, uh, the fired ball. Yes. I feel like in post, I'll definitely be able to get measurements because we know the diameter of that ball. Yeah and I can then input that and it'll calculate speed. I just feel like when we had the Maltese cannon, they were going faster. They were going really fast. They were going sort of 900 feet per second, I believe is what yeah. they said the record was. But this is obviously heavier and there's less pressure this time because we're not using nitrogen in the vacuum. Correct, we were doing about 150 before. This, this is about 9,500. Um, we do have another option. We've got a pistol, which fires, you know, slightly faster than the speed of sound. Yeah. So that should have more beans if you're worried about the lack of beans. So you're saying you can, from a safe distance, place a pistol shot into the side of a Newton's cradle? I can try. <laughs> I reckon I need to be at least sort of 15, 20 foot yeah. away. You want to describe the ammunition we're using today? Yeah, it's a 9x19, which means 9mm calibre, 19 length of the cartridge. It's ball round or FMJ, so it means it's got like... A, softer sort of cupro nickel type coppery metal on the outside of the of the central lead and that's to engage in the rifling it's sort of a standard pistol ammunition um used for like target practice things like that uh so just above speed of sound about 1200 feet per second let's uh take hundreds of thousands of pictures of them as they <laughs> sail through the air <laughs> it's going to be a hell of a shot if it works but an absolute hell of a shot. Made ready. Are you ready? Yep. I missed, but it's okay. Safe. Ah, try again. Ready? Whoa! I don't know what I hit. I don't think it was the balls. Oh, I was below the balls. Oh! Look at this. <laughs> That's where you put it? Yeah. Perfectly central to where the balls are, except <laughs> too low. So it went in and then flipped the whole thing up, hit the table and then bounced up into the bottom. Yeah, very much. Here it is, it's still warm. Oh. Ready? Oh, I hear a ball, I think. Maybe not. I can't really tell. See what it did. Maybe I was just completely off. No. Oh. What? <laughs> what? 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 God. What? <laughs> no, surely. Team. Never. <laughs> Never. Never. It did less. 
it put less momentum into the front one than the, than the ball bearing? Oh my god. That bullet got wrecked. Get wrecked, son. The thing is, right, I saw the ball bearing go flying down range, yeah, and I was like, I think I've hit one. And then I went and I was like, well, I can't have done because there's still four balls on, four balls on there. That was a great shot. <laughs> it was a hell of a shot. <laughs> A hell of a shot. Is it it's just that less weighted. dense? Yeah, it's not as it's, weighted. There's not as much mass behind it. And it's also not as hard as the ball bearings. The ball bearings are much harder. That's why if you have it like... It just went to pieces. It's because the ball bearings are harder and, and it doesn't have as much weight, but mostly the hardness. That's unbelievable. That's unexpected. When I saw all the balls on there, yeah. I thought, ah, it's probably a miss, but you might have glanced the plank. And I watched it play back and I was just... Usually I try and keep my reaction so that we can watch it together. Yeah. I was just watching it off camera. And I just went, no, <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. As soon as I saw this on the base, I knew I'd hit the ball because the bullet- Because it's exploded. Because it's exploded and it's just gone from, and all this is what the bullet did after it just went to pieces. The mangled remnants of, <laughs> of Newton's credit. I think, I think Isaac would be happy with what we've done today. He would approve. He's looking down on us thinking, yes, boys. Yeah, he's definitely uh, this got is a what smile on his face as he looks up on us. I just can't believe that the pistol didn't do much. I'm unbelievable. I'm so shocked. It's like the pistol hit a solid steel wall yeah. in terms of how it just shattered to pieces. And the wall just went, yeah. Yeah. But this is the Newton's cradle that's in the best shape after being hit by the ball. <laughs> and this is the pistol one. You see the... Surprisingly good shape. Yeah, and uh, it must just be the heft of the ball and the hardness of the ball that makes the difference rather than the, the bullet. Yeah. Still works perfectly. Just return it. I'd give that to a... Just return it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Lovely sunset as well. I'm, I enjoyed that. It was a good day. Hopefully you enjoyed that video as much as we enjoyed making it. Subscribe if you love slow-mo. Uh, Click on else? the bell, yeah. Yeah. Make sure you get the notification. There is that bell. That's about it. Good shout. Yeah, see you next time. See you next time.